Hi there, Greg Goodman joining you for episode 150 of Southern Gospel Now. Our report is made possible by daywind.com, where you'll find Southern Gospel music and soundtracks. Scotty Inman is up first this week, right on the hills of Easter. He talks about the rolled away stone. The fact that we serve a God who rolled away a stone and is living today gives me faith that he can roll away the stones in my life and the trials in my life. Man, that's a God I want to serve. Mike Lefevre says that the Lefevre Quartet is having great services everywhere they go these days. Right now, our schedule, the way our schedule is, every date that we do is a big date to us because... And you know that's the way it should be. I don't care if you're doing five dates a week or one. Every concert that you're in should be big. But we do such a limited schedule now, so every date that we do is important. One thing about the uh, the dates that we're doing, of course, we're not near the schedule we were before, but everybody is so saved up, so to speak. They're so excited about going in to sing that our service has, uh, have been incredible. The latest song from the Irwins is Back to the Garden. Katie Irwin says it's going over great in their live shows. Oh, Back to the Garden is such a powerful song written by Jaron Davis, Charity Gill, and Ryan Kennedy. And it's a song that is really touching hearts every night. Every time we get done singing it, there is a hush of the Holy Spirit that fills the room. And it is so powerful. And we've incorporated the hymn um, in the garden with it as well. And we really see that connect nightly. And it's our honor to sing it and to worship along to it every night. Jim and Melissa Brady's current hit is Ever Present, Ever Faithful. Jim says the reality of God's faithfulness should be a great comfort to us. The faithfulness of God is just such a treasure to all of us. You learn that the faithfulness of God is a reality because you've experienced it. We can look back at the past and realize, hey, God was with us. He never forgot about us. He never left us. He promised us he would be with us, and he is. And his faithfulness is such a treasure to hold on to. We have some big Southern Gospel events coming up this month. That includes NQC Spring Break. Here's NQC Executive Vice President Clark Beasley. You know, the Smoky Mountains are beautiful in the springtime, and we wanted to give gospel music fans the opportunity to enjoy that as well as enjoy some great gospel music. So we're hosting a two-day event at the LeConte Center in Pigeon Forge called NQC Spring Break. Uh, We've been doing this for several years now. This year, uh, we're doing it uh, over two days, and uh, it's actually uh, one session on Thursday evening, April 11th, and two sessions on Friday, April 12th. And we got groups like Greater Vision, Mark Trammell Quartet, Hoppers, Triumphant, Wiznitz, Tribute, Brian Free and Assurance, Joseph Habedank, Jonathan Wilburn, Mylon Hayes Family, Littles, Endless Highway, uh, the list goes on and on. Great lineup. Uh, we're really looking forward to presenting this event. All the information is at nqconline.com. And again, that's April 11th and 12th at the LeConte Center in Pigeon Forge. Singing in the Sun has been a longtime fan favorite. This year it will be held April 15th through the 20th in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Bill Gaither extends an invitation for you to be there. Hi, I'm Bill Gaither and the Gaither Vocal Band and I are looking forward to being back in beautiful Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for Singing in the Sun. Don't miss it. April the 20th at the Myrtle Beach Convention Center at 2 p.m. Tickets are still available, so get yours today. I'll see you at the beach. The current song from the Guardians is Heaven is Happening. John Duran Rousey talks about arranging the song. I grew up in mixed groups my whole life. You know, I traveled with a group called New Journey, and then I took the job with Karen Peck and New River and loved every minute of all of that. But being with a quartet has changed things for me, my perspective on how I arrange songs. When I go to arrange something for the Guardians, it's completely different than anything I've done before. And I'm really having the time of my life doing that, to arrange something. Pat sings the lead on Heaven is Happening Here on Earth. Then Paul sings the lead on the chorus. And to kind of flip things around and change up the arrangement to make it quartet friendly has been a lot of fun. Gold City has a new in-house booking agent. If you want to book a concert or an event with Gold City, Lori Wise is the person to speak with. Her phone number is 256-438-6719. Again, that's Lori Wise at 256-438-6719. 
When the Neelands aren't singing, they are working on the farm. Jason Clark tells us more. For those that don't know, we bought a farm in Rootville, Georgia. Which Population is, 226. That's right. So about four or five years ago, we bought this farm, and it's a real working farm. We do Black Angus beef cattle. We have horses. And then right there in the midst of all that, we have a 10,000-square-foot venue that hosts uh, not only weddings, but retreats. Uh, we've done high school proms. We've done a little bit of everything. Thing, revivals, <laughs> conferences, and we do our concerts there, you know, so we do about four or five dinner shows a year, and we're bringing in all kinds of different musical acts. We've had pe- everybody from Kirk Cameron to Mo Pitney coming. We've done all kinds of stuff. We've now had people from 28 states visit our farm at one of our events, and so we're our goal is to get all 50 in there. Tate Emmons just celebrated his 14th birthday on April 3rd. He tells us about one of his favorite lyrics and his current song, which he wrote, means something to me. Another favorite line of mine is the old rugged cross is still standing on. Because the old rugged cross has to be like a top three favorite hymn for me. And that line reminds us that the old rugged cross is indeed still standing on. The same yesterday, today, and forever. And I loved adding that in that song. Time for a look at the top Southern Gospel songs of the week from the Power 50 chart. Number five. Privilege of Prayer, The Wisnets. Praise God for the privilege of prayer. Number four. Let Me Be the Well, The Kramer. Let me be. Number three. Carry the glorious gospel, Mylon Hayes family. Carry the glorious gospel, children, tell everyone you meet. Number two. Meet me at the cross, Brian Free and Assurance. Meet me at the cross. Number one. Stand in the storm, the Booth Brothers. I'd rather stand in the storm. That's our report for this week. Thank you so much for joining me. Southern Gospel Now is made possible in part by SouthernGospelPrizes.com. Currently, you can register to win the Inspiration's new project, The Legacy Continues. Registration and all the details are available at SouthernGospelPrizes.com. If you missed episodes of Southern Gospel Now, you can catch up on all 150 episodes wherever you find podcasts or at SouthernGospelNow.com. I'm Greg Goodman. Love your neighbor, and I'll join you again next week for more Southern Gospel News on Southern Gospel Now.